A new law is clearing the way for digital and biometric clearance at Singapore's borders without the use of physical passports. Citizens and foreign visitors can do so at Changi Airport from next year. MPs' concerns over the inclusivity and risks of such technology were addressed in Parliament today. Rebecca Mateo has more. Collecting your personal data to generate a digital token is the future for Singaporean travellers. They'll make immigration clearance more efficient and seamless without using your passport. About 10 MPs spoke on the Immigration Amendment Bill that allows provisions on that. Some raised concerns over its usability for all, robustness of the system and data security. Some elderly citizens are unable to provide usable fingerprints due to their dry skin. Wheelchair users may have difficulty getting their irises scanned due to the height and angle of the scanners. Iris recognition systems could become prone to error as people's irises change with age or after cataract surgery. Second Minister for Home Affairs Josephine Teo said manual clearance can still be done by exception. To assist seniors who may not be able to provide certain biometrics or who may not be digitally savvy. I assure Mr Gan, Mr Giam and Mr Yip that immigration officers will be on hand to help. Some MPs were worried about a repeat of the system's outage earlier this year, which caused long delays at Changi Airport and land checkpoints. The system must be made extremely robust to prevent system breakdowns, long downtime and false negatives which will all result in delays in clearance, resulting in build-up of long queues and passengers missing their flights and other knock-on effects. Mrs Teo said the ICA is working closely with the Home Team Science and Technology Agency as well as GovTech to ensure that the system is reliable. She added that the next-generation technology is equipped with fillover capabilities that will allow travellers to continue using automated clearance gates even during outages. Against the backdrop of hacking incidents and data breaches, MPs also asked about how the collected data would be stored and protected. Mrs Steele said the data will be encrypted and deleted at some point. The Changi Airport Group will be bound by the terms of a data sharing agreement with ICA. It puts the onus on CAG to take all responsible, to take all reasonable measures to ensure that the data is protected against unauthorised access, use, disclosure, modification or misuse. This includes setting up relevant access controls, such as two-factor authentication. ICA will audit CAG's compliance and conduct regular checks on CAG's systems. Mrs Stewart added that data will not be shared with other countries yet for security reasons. She also pointed out that only Singapore-registered companies can undertake projects related to ICA. All employees of the vendors are also to undergo security screening and are bound by non-disclosure agreement.